Hey guys, Thunderset here, and we are doing more Bujins. Now, Bujins are a unique archetype, just like Trimids, just like Yosenjus, just like Firefist, kind of, where you're going to be able to use Balance, and they're not really going to feel the negative effects. Balance won't let you Special Summon. Generally, you're not Special Summoning on your first turn. And Balance won't let you use an effect until the end of your main phase. Now, Yamato happens in the end phase. A lot of our effects, like Crane, happen in the battle phase. So really, you're not losing too much from balance. Now we're using 30 card balance. It's not something I usually do, but we're doing something special with this. Balance will trigger as long as you only use six spell or trap cards. Now if your goal was to get a spell in your hand and a trap in your hand in every hand, this is not the use of balance we're using. So we're only using six and then a bunch of monsters. So with this kind of build of minimal spell and trap, we're guaranteed to just have one non-monster in our hand. So we're going to usually have a bunch of monsters and we're guaranteed one non-monster. So it could be a tanky, it could be a karma cut, it could be other defensive abilities. Who knows? We have even defense in our monster slots. So we're very defended to draw into what we need to get our Bujin combos going off. We're using all the same Bujins I would use in a 20 card version, but we snuck in a little Centipede who hits some back row. Don't generally need him. Didn't make the cut for the 20 card, but there's plenty of room for him in this 30 card. So like I said guys, it's 18 monsters, 12 spell or trap. So think of spell and trap as one unit. Your hand is guaranteed a bunch of monsters and at least one spell or trap with this balance combination and that's the name of the game you want a bunch of monsters in your hand with the bougians so uh extra deck is all the same you can still go fire king to set a 10 key we got pal dynamo who takes two light of course we're all light level sin best level four in the game or boast is a three sukiyomi very good in this deck you don't usually don't see me use him but he is good if you had a hand of things you want in the graveyard you can discard them all and then add new stuff but usually it's susano Who's your main boss? Just gives you a search or a mill, gets strong, activates all the Bujin synergies, so it's really your boy. But now we have defense, now we have traps, now we have spells. Pretty cool little way to play. You don't feel the restriction or some balance. So Bujins have depth, guys. They have depth, they have future. I can't wait to streamline them even further. Hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. We're going second. He's on a five, this boy's on a five win streak right now. We're about to crack a five win streak with a less than stellar hand. But Tenki makes every hand good, man, it's so good. We get that Yamato anyway, so didn't really need it. Now we're lucky enough to search a Harime. We're gonna really go crazy on this guy. We normal summon a Yamato, swing at a Luf Lupine. Now this is a weird little archetype, Metaphys does some weird stuff so they're gonna be even hard for us to control. Here he's going to use an Ace of Metaphys. So it shows me a soul absorption. That way I'm a little more comfortable destroying that Ace of Metaphys so he doesn't get any banishes off and that's all he had. He has to pass his turn. Now we're gonna banish that Yamato because he doesn't do anything in the graveyard. Bring out a Harime. When anything's banished he gets to gain life points. Normal summon our Quillen. Suzano -o. Detaches the Quillen, searches a Mikazuchi. We use the Quillen to destroy his Metaphys Dimension. Set a Book of Moon. We do not swing into Destiny Draw. Now we're going to normal summon a Yamato. Suzano search again. We mill a Centipede. Centipede's going to destroy. Or no, we go straight to the end phase. So we Yamato a hair. I guess I'm not afraid of that Soul Absorption just yet. Waiting for more back row. He's just going to set a monster. I'm still not swinging because I don't want to give him. Karma cut or um, Karma cut. There's Karma cut. I don't want to give him Destiny draw yet. I normal summon Mikazuchi. That's gonna be Tiger King. We don't need a Gyoku or anything. We need Tanky. We're gonna use the Tanky. We got Arasuda. We're gonna swing and it's a Winda. So now he has a Winda. I have a good idea as to how we're gonna beat this guy. So I have everything I need. I'm going to destroy that window. He's bringing out Napaleo. Remember, Suzano can attack each monster once. He couldn't make a second attack on that window, but he can make a second attack on this Apelio. 
I will double my attack and give you that destiny draw to get your windows out your windows out of here. You can draw any card you want now. Now that we have our field established and our follow-up established, there's nothing you can really do. He's gonna banish a Metaphys and a Tyrant Dragon. I'm already four turns ahead, so he's just looking for a Daedalus. Comes out with a Daedalus, but guess what Book of Moon is gonna do? Book of Moon is such a fantastic card. It disrupts plays. Even when you can't really disrupt the play, we're gonna flip down our own Suzano with our Book of Moon, dodging the Daedalus' effect. Flip up that Suzano. Now we're gonna use the centipede to get rid of that banishing. We should have done that earlier. Now we're gonna go Arasuda. Arasuda swings over the Lupine. No banished cards are out of his hand. We 2600 versus 2600. We're gonna Kamikaze. But it's not a Kamikaze thanks to Hair. He cannot be destroyed by battle. We have wiped his field. And he has only two cards left. We still have a live Karma Cut, guys. So he's in trouble. But he gets an Ace of Metaphys. That's a really good start. He gets to banish a Tyrant Dragon. Draw into a monster to set. Tyrant Dragon with nothing to summon though, so we go right to the main phase. Normal summon a Sinew. Level and Sin's gonna banish that. Absorption's gone. He was hit for lethal and scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yusei. Looks like he's on a win streak. We're on a two win streak. He's on a three win streak. He's using that ever popular combo of the Millennium Ring, Sleeve, and Mat. We don't have a Beast Warrior. We got two Spellin' Traps. We don't want two Spellin' Traps. Passes his turn though, so we're just gonna normal summon a Quillen, set our Book of Moon and Karma Cut, and swing at him. He's got a battling Boxer Veil, so he Boxer Veils us. Now he's gonna set whatever he just top decked, normal summon a comma 2, special summons, a, or that's actually another normal summon of a comma 1. We're gonna Book of Moon the comma 1, he's got Ties of the Brethren, now we're gonna Karma Cut the comma 2. This way he gets none of them back to his hand. We're gonna banish the turtle to bring out a Harimi. That's a really uh, brave, let's say, play. Because he could target me with that sting eventually, but I know it's a sting back there. We're gonna get it. We got our Susano. We throw away a centipede by uh, detaching our Quillen. We're able to destroy the sting we knew was there. Then Quillen can destroy the boxer. We swing over the common cut that caught our Book of Moon. He's down to just one card. Gotta be tough. For one card to get back, but here he goes with comma two. Isna right into Tiger King. So this was the combo I'm talking about. You go with the Tiger King into the Tenki. Our deck does that. His deck does that. It's a nice easy combo with Tenki and Beast Warrior monsters. You just add the Tiger King, add the Tenkis. Works out right now. For some reason, he destroys a remake. Doesn't want to go for Susanna, doesn't want to lose his own monster, I guess. He just really had no way to win. We throw a Sinew, that means we're going to be so fat. We swing with Yamato, use the Sinew, he's 4.1k. And then we finish him off with the Susano. Nice, easy duel, looks like Bujins are the top control over your Senju. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Jaden Yuki. Going first. Show and balance. We're going Yamato. Search a crane, throw away our turtle. And then we're gonna set two from our enemy, but we're not afraid of that. We got a karma cut, we got a turtle, we got a crane on the field. Don't you can't it's not that I didn't want to summon this Yamato, you just can't have two Yamato on the field. You can only control one Yamato. So we couldn't do that. Anyway, we special summon Harime, and then we hit for a nice casual lethal. This card's so bad it actually targets you as a battle trap. So we get to use Turtle, and then we get to swing for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing an Ashizu. We're going second. Kite does, in fact, learn balance. We have a Yamato and a Tenkin. Tenki. We're fighting a, a Shiranui. So, super random, but obviously I know exactly how to fight a Shiranui. They're old as dirt. So, we're gonna use Tenki. We're gonna go Mikazuchi. We're gonna normal summon Yamato. He hits us with a floodgate. No huge deal. We set our Belisa squad. He's 
Just gotta set another card, set a back row. Kinda like the look of that back row. I'm gonna hit it with my Belisa Squad, because I'm not afraid of Samurai Skull. It was another Belisa Squad, that's why he said that monster. Tells me that monster is a tuner, so plenty of information. Duel's going great so far. We got normal summon Yamato, swing into his tuner. It sure was a tuner. Destroy him. We're usually over the little skull. Throw away a Quillen, and we're off to the races after searching a crane. He's got a Gozuki now, much better card. Gets to mill a samurai skull, activating his level 2 spectral sword, bringing out an arch skull zombie who can't be destroyed by card effects. But Yamato's about to get that buff boost from the crane. You can be destroyed by battle, my friend. Loses this big boss monster to a simple crane that he saw me search. And we got Mikazuchi, guys. That's Suzano. That was two Beast Warriors, though, so we could have gotten any Xyz in the deck. Search a crane. Quillen's gonna destroy that Gozuki. I choose to do the Gozuki first. Can't do the Samurai Skull because he gets a free summon. Gozuki is a summon that will cost you. You would have to vanish from your graveyard, summon from your hand. I was gonna see how he was. He scoops after anyway. Very great stuff, guys. Balance, you don't even feel balanced with this deck. It works out really well. Great stuff. Alright, here's Kaitenjo versus Kaitenjo. We're going first. That's what you really want with balance. Showing them the balance. Remember, we're just guaranteed one non-monster, and it's tanky. That's perfect. We're gonna get even more monsters. So we got Mikazuchi, Arasuda, all in our hand. We're gonna normal summon the Yamato, search a crane, throw away our centipede, and we're good to go. Now our boy sets two back row and skips. So you better hope he's not really galaxy eyes. We get centipede. Centipede's gonna force him to Forbidden Land, so Yamato, no big deal. Arasuda, when Centipede banishes his health, he gets to Special Summon. Normal Summon, the Mikazuchi. We're gonna go so aggressive on this guy. We're going Ouroboros, because I know that is a bluff. So we're gonna just make sure your brick is staying a brick, my friend. He gets that Photon Stream. We got a Book of Moon. We're pretty safe. We're attacking his hand, trying to get him bricks, and he stayed brick. Great, great stuff, guys. I mean, uh, balance, you don't even feel it this deck. It's, it works just so perfectly. You just get one non-monster. That's all you need. All your spell and traps are really good. Ten keys, great. Karma Cut's obviously the best trap in the game. Econ's great. Book of Moon's great. It's all great. So, I mean, you pile that on to the control that Bujins give you in just a monster archetype. And they got a future, guys. They're finally strong. I think they're consistent enough with Tenki. And Tenki gives you even more plays. Helps the archetype immensely. No coincidence. So I look forward to more Bushins, guys. Hope you do too. Hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.